I work with a lot of beginning Drupal developers. One of the most frustrating things is when you break your code and you can't figure out where the error is. Trying to go back to recent log messages is sometimes actually impossible. Well, I've got a fix for that. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. Thanks for joining us today. In this video, I want to show you how to turn on debug mode in Drupal 8 and 9 so that errors in your code print to the screen rather than you trying to figure out how to get back to recent log messages, often when you can't. Let's dive in. So this tip comes from a couple of old posts, one on Drupal Answers on Stack Exchange and one from Drupal.org basically just making developer tricks more discoverable and obvious. Well, they still haven't done it, but this one is really simple. All I have to do is copy this line of code and put it in the settings.php file inside of my local site. Now I'm using dev desktop for this, but this applies on any local site. If your site's on a development server, you're definitely gonna to wanna to read the instructions here. All right, you can paste the code anywhere. I've got it at the bottom and click Save. Head back to my site, which is currently broken. And now I see the error printed right at the top of the screen. Well, this is a simple one. I've got a space in my .info.yaml file, which I placed there on purpose. Let's get rid of the space, hit Save, come back over to the site, hit Refresh, and well, there you go. It is so much easier than trying to go back to reports and recent log messages, which Honestly, half the time, you can't get to anyway. Well, this tip's been around forever, as you saw from those old posts, but a lot of new developers don't know about it. Turning on debug mode makes it so simple to find your mistakes. Hey, well, thanks for joining us today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. As always, hit the like button, subscribe. We'd love you to do that. We'll see you next time.